Hey folks, happy to welcome back to the channel. Thank you for the watch. episode I'm going to wake up my Suzuki GSX uh, R750 Astrad from 98, the first injection edition. So uh, she has reached uh, the 70, almost 70,000 on the counter, which is in reality around 110,000 because I had to replace the automator because it's reached the 99999 and I replaced it uh, with this one. It was a used one with 61,000 ish. So now approximately this is the next uh, uh, service in my calculation because I do every five and 10,000 oil change and the big services. So she's gonna have a lot of stuffs. She will get the new oil, oil filter, air filter, new coolant, the new spark plugs. And I'm going to check on the sink as well because it's recommended to check it every 10,000 or 12,000 according to the, the user manual, but because I do 10,000, so it's gonna be also adjusted to that so first things first i'm gonna take her out for a spin to get the engine really nice and warm and then for sure gonna have a good measurement in the sink as well and we'll be better for the oil to release so let's take her for a spin and then uh, start with the sink and then after with the oil i just got back from the ride i had a really good run now the engine is really warm it's a 98 and uh, just could make the exact same thousand now i have to take off the seat open up the tank make access for the injectors and then i can hook up the sink device and then i'm gonna check the sink i hope it's still good if not then of course i'm gonna adjust it and then when it's done uh, i'm gonna take off the device let the engine cool down a little bit and release the oil and I have to open up both sides to take off the, the covers because this side is the reservoir for the coolant and this side is the oil filter. So for those I need the place. So let's open up and look at the device. Now the tank is open and I have exposed the air filter house and as you can see the inside where the air comes in, it has collected a lot of dirt already and even uh, there are inside as well a lot of insects mostly but yeah now i can take off the house and clean a little bit there are some oil came up as well and then um, we're gonna have much different view when it's gonna be clean so now i can take off the airbox as well uh, the house as well now the system is set i just have to need uh, i just have to start up the bike and then uh, i'm gonna see the results on the monitor uh, fingers crossed up everything is good it does a little bit, but it does not too much, and then we can adjust it. Now the results are good luckily, so this part is complete. And now I'm gonna uh, uh, take off the side panels, disconnect everything. But unfortunately I have noticed a lot of oil in the lower button and a lot of uh, cranky smokes unfortunately so here definitely gonna need a good clean as well there's a lot of oil came out and yeah because the engine is uh, on quite high mileage and it's uh, a sport bike probably people have been abused her for a really hard and really long period and now actually i'm gonna use a little bit thicker oil hopefully it's gonna stop the smoke but if not that's uh, could lean unfortunately for an engine rebuild hopefully that's still far away but yeah now just clean up everything open up the sides and replace the oil as well the old oil and the filter are out already i did prepare the new o-ring uh, o so i'm gonna wait a few minutes to let drop out but now i can put back already the new oil filter 
and then after a few minutes I'm gonna install the plug and uh, fill up with oil and after that still gonna wait a bit to cool down I'm uh, gonna take off the tank itself to have more place and they're gonna clean up this part as well and as you can see even in the inner side of the tank is some oil vapor which is causing some headache that's for sure but first thing first let's finish this part now the oil is in, the new filter is on and now I'm gonna spin her up a little bit to fill up the filter and spread through the system and then it's gonna be like a half minute, one minute only and then I uh, can go further now the low oil level is good, it's just a little bit about full but because it's on the stand so when it's gonna be on the ground it's maybe gonna go higher but now because it's really warm I'm gonna let uh, her cool maybe I'm just gonna do it uh, uh, next uh, maybe tomorrow and everything is cool to be able to replace the spark plugs and yeah here is oil as well it's still not sure it's from uh, the air filter or from maybe the uh, valve cover but yeah we're gonna clean as much as i can now <laughs> she's opened up and <laughs> a little bit cleaner than it was i prepared everything already to pull out the spark plugs and then I'm gonna check the discoloration. If I may need some adjustments, then I'm gonna do so on these ones. So, pull them out. So now the spark plugs are out. So, the number one, two, three, four, they are in order. And actually, they are pretty good. Not the bed could be a little bit leaner, but it's still okay. So, I'm not gonna do anything actually. I'm just gonna keep her like this. And now, I can put back the new spark plugs and then put back. Uh, the front together with the new air filter. Now the air filter house is back, everything attached, ready for the new filter and after actually the, can, uh, the tank can go back and assemble the top side and can move on to the coolants. Now the top end is complete, now I'm going to release um, the coolant in the lowest point here next to the fuel, uh, the water pump and I'm gonna take off the reservoir as well to empty it and then when it's run out I'm gonna remove the air ducts and there is the access to the radiator cap and actually I forgot to mention these are damaged both side actually the holder points are broke off and so and I got the spare unfortunately they have different finish but they are intact and they are gonna hopefully less uh, cause less vibration and noises so let's empty the coolant now the old coolant is out already it's a little bit different color i guess it was a mixture and now i'm just gonna fill up the new one in this position because then the air can escape easier to the top of the radiator i'm gonna fill up the system the uh, the, uh, the reservoir and after i'm gonna start her up to be sure the system is circulating and gonna pump up uh, gonna pump out all the air so let's now the bike is on, the engine is warming up and rotating the system but I'm hearing some really weird noise This, this sound is definitely not good, it sounds like uh, the chain run loose so that's definitely something what I have to check before the bike gonna be in, in use but now I'm gonna let her run a little bit, just on the idle to be sure not gonna be any problem and just top up the system and then uh, yeah I'm gonna find out something now the engine is warm enough already so probably all the bubble came out I already put back the cap so this thing should be good the noise is still there unfortunately so I'm gonna let her cool down and yeah I have to open it up to see what's going on maybe just the tensioner or maybe the chain got loose uh, or, or uh, stretched out and another thing I uh, mean by I did try to replace the intake, but it turns out this is for the carburetor addition from the 96, 97, because the injection addition already has the, the fuse box holder and the carburetor addition has not. That actually is under the, the, the counter, the odometer. So I think it's the, all the measurements are the same. So I'm just gonna drill a hole and attach it here. But yeah, I cannot go further with like this. So I'm gonna put her down for a while to cool down and after I have to open back everything to check the timing. So that's it for the episode guys. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, see you in the next one. Bye bye.